Hello YouTube, this is uh, Captain Nav. I hope you are all doing well. Today we're going to talk about scenery and uh, how we can uh, edit or create some scenery in uh, Flight Simulator or prepared using uh, SBuilder X and uh, new uh, to this channel Airport uh, Design Editor. Airport Design Editor is uh, open in front of us and uh, today we're going to try to edit uh, Beauvais Airport uh, just uh, north of uh, Paris in France. So we'll go for uh, File and uh, open uh, uh, Stock Airport. And there's an airport list there. We want to search for IKO code. So the IKO code of uh, Beauvais is LFOB. And uh, we'll click Find Now. It's giving us, we highlight it. It's giving us the path and the file uh, references. Click Open. And uh, Airport Design Editor is going to open the uh, default uh, airport from FSX on the screen very soon and here we are that's the stock or default uh, airport uh, in uh, FSX and you can see all the layout of the airport with the runways the taxiways uh, the aprons or the gates so in order to uh, edit the airport uh, as accurately as possible we're going to use a satellite uh, picture and uh, align the picture with uh, uh, airport design editor uh, stock airport file so we'll go to s builder x new project uh, give the project a name so we'll give it uh, lfob the iq code for the airport you can give it any name you want click ok and uh, then uh, same as before we're gonna have to uh, first uh, give uh, s builder x the location of the airport so we'll go to uh, view go to position use the uh, coordinates from uh, ade and uh, enter the uh, latitude and uh, longitude so it's quite easy to just uh, look at the uh, numbers in AD and uh, write them down ok and uh, then uh, for the moment we don't have anything remember we need to go uh, click view and show background and here is the uh, satellite photo so obviously it's quite uh, zoomed out so we need to uh, zoom in and the airport will appear we can see the runway here so we can click uh, center the picture on the airport keep zooming in that's a little bit too much uh, readjust the zoom and here is uh, the airport if you remember the steps from the s builder x uh, tutorial video now we're gonna go to a file and add map from background and uh, that uh, window pops up so we'll choose uh, zoom uh, 16 and uh, you can see all these little uh, green boxes appear so we're gonna select uh, the area we want to uh, keep for the uh, satellite photo uh, so we need to uh, cover the whole airport we don't need really uh, the rest of the area try to keep the file size as uh, small as possible and uh, click ok the tiles are processing and uh, here we are we've got uh, the satellite photo for the airport with a quite good uh, amount of uh, details so all we have to do uh, now is uh, uh, go to our file and uh, save project as give it a name once again we'll uh, give it the name LFOB uh, you can call it anything you want and uh, save it so the project is saved if you need to go back to it then uh, it's available at this stage we are done with uh, S Builder X. What we need to uh, do next is convert the format of the uh, satellite photo from uh, BMP to uh, JPG uh, format. So we'll open uh, GIMP2, uh, file, open, uh, we'll try to uh, locate our satellite photo. should be in the uh, S Builder X file and uh, then under tools and uh, work and here is the photo and you can see it's a BMP format so we want to convert that so in order to uh, convert it uh, first uh, what we need to do is open it here we are and the satellite photo appears in uh, GIMP 2 so we're not done yet we want to convert the file as I said so we'll go to a uh, file and export as and the window opens there to export the image so we want to give the uh, image a more significant uh, name so we'll call it uh, LFOB uh, align because we want to align it with uh, airport design editor 
and uh, change the name of the format to uh, JPG. We'll uh, make sure we've got a JPG as well uh, at the bottom here. So we'll locate it. And uh, once we are done, click uh, export. Here, just click export. And uh, it's uh, exporting the picture back to uh, the uh, SBuilder X uh, uh, folder. And uh, we are done with um, uh, game 2 now. So we can close it. Come back to uh, Airport Design Editor. In the center of the display, you want to uh, right click, click Add, and uh, Image. And uh, this uh, new background image uh, windows appears. So click on that little box and uh, locate uh, the S Builder X uh, Tools Work. Uh, select your Align uh, Picture and uh, open. We're not done at this stage. Uh, we want to uh, uh, enter the coordinates. So click the box and now we need to enter the coordinates. So to enter the coordinates, we need to refer to the text file uh, saved when we uh, created the uh, satellite photo in uh, S Builder X. So come back into your S Builder X tools work folder and uh, you've got that text file here. So I uh, copy the uh, uh, coordinates. So north goes into uh, top left latitude. Then uh, the south goes into uh, the bottom right latitude. Then the west uh, goes into uh, the top left longitude. Uh, put it there. And uh, finally, uh, the uh, east goes into the bottom right uh, longitude. Yeah, you've guessed it. And uh, click save. And it's working out. Very nicely, the uh, satellite photo aligns on uh, the uh, airport uh, layout in uh, Airport Design Editor. So you can see that the uh, default uh, airport is actually uh, quite good. Uh, everything lines up uh, more or less. Obviously, uh, we'll look into it into more details now. Uh, but the runway looks good. Most of the taxiways and aprons look good as well. Uh, we can see uh, this part there looks all right with all the buildings. And we can see the grass runway. The runway seems to be uh, fairly well located. Uh, here we've got taxiway missing, so that's a new uh, taxiway since uh, uh, FSX was uh, uh, edited. And uh, yeah, this apron is missing as well. That's a new part to the airport. And uh, looking at the car park, it's missing as well. That little road is uh, missing. And uh, otherwise, the runway there, uh, secondary runway, is, uh, is good. And uh, looking further down, uh, the taxiway is uh, nicely uh, created. Uh, however, here it doesn't really follow uh, the real world uh, taxiway. It's a little bit bent. So we can start uh, playing uh, around and uh, editing the airport. So we can. Uh, Click on the little blue dot here and drag the taxiway towards its uh, correct location. You can see it's uh, quite easy. Just uh, click the blue dots and uh, move the taxiway uh, into its proper location. There's a little bit of a bend there, so we can uh, try to adjust the bend once again by clicking on the uh, blue dot and uh, dragging it down. So uh, we've just uh, more or less uh, edited uh, this uh, section of the airport. It was a little bit out of shape and uh, we just uh, made it uh, uh, real and uh, nicely uh, done. So going back up uh, the runway, it's all there. A holding point there. Uh, we can start editing some things if we want. Uh, for example, the grass runway. Uh, we highlight it and then edit object. So we got all the properties of the runway. For example, we can uh, increase its length by clicking this little button here. 
or otherwise uh, we can also uh, highlight the number and uh, just uh, type the length we want if we click 900 meters okay and the uh, runway length is uh, increased so that's one of the things you can do you saw in that uh, uh, property uh, window there was quite a lot of uh, uh, criteria you could uh, change uh, moving up towards uh, the uh, missing taxiway here so uh, we can uh, add uh, the taxiway so we'll go to uh, add uh, taxiway uh, link I click on the uh, open line here and onto the taxiway link here and uh, here we are let go try to align it with the uh, real world taxiway and uh, here's our new taxiway it's all there with the lines and uh, everything so back to our pointer mode we can uh, highlight it and uh, edit the object uh, we can uh, give a name so it's uh, not there we can uh, increase its width and uh, we can edit the uh, edge uh, markings and lighting system we can do a lot of things then uh, here's the uh, missing apron so the building is in place but uh, not uh, the actual uh, apron so we're gonna create an apron so click on that little uh, uh, symbol there uh, define the limits of the apron and uh, here we are that's the uh, asphalt uh, apron created so we can move it around to uh, fit the picture and uh, that's pretty much it we've got our apron now we can uh, then uh, work on it looking up uh, towards the secondary runway there we've got another apron so uh, once again click the apron uh, uh, button define the limits of the apron double click once we've finished and here's a new apron Once again, we can add uh, taxi there, taxi link to the runway. And uh, here's a new taxiway again. So we can do a lot of things back to pointer mode and uh, highlight the uh, taxiway, edit, and as I said, we can uh, reduce its width. So 15 meters, click OK, and you can see the uh, uh, width of the taxiway uh, decreases. There's a car park, and uh, if we want, we can uh, add some uh, objects. So we go to Add Library Objects and uh, select uh, Vehicle uh, Land. Here we are. Uh, we can add uh, we can add a car. So we can try to um, set the car where there is one on the uh, satellite photo. I mean, obviously, uh, this is uh, uh, just uh, for fun. So, align the car. There's another one here. We'll add another car. So, click uh, Add and uh, select uh, Library Object again. Uh, we'll take that uh, black car there. Align it with uh, the satellite photo. And here we are. We've got two cars in the car park. They are doing uh, very well with uh, keeping uh, cars in the car park. But you get the drift, you can uh, add uh, all, everything you want. This line uh, is uh, the limit of the airport, so you can uh, drag it around if you want. And um, if you want to create the uh, car park, then you can add another apron. And uh, once uh, this is done, you'll get your car park with uh, cars on them, which is quite cool. So that's uh, something uh, you can do. As I mentioned in the uh, introduction, this is just a brief overview of uh, what you can do with uh, Airport Design Editor. So if you uh, feel like uh, creating uh, airports uh, uh, for the uh, Flight Simulator community, then uh, this is the tool uh, to use. So we've got our car park now. Um, and uh, we can uh, move on to the next uh, section. Um, we've got buildings here, uh, they are a little bit smaller than uh, the real uh, uh, buildings, so we can uh, 
increase their size once again click OK and you can see the size increase uh, we can uh, move them uh, to fit the actual uh, building we can copy uh, the uh, building paste it there and then uh, rotate it to kind of uh, fit the uh, uh, satellite picture more or less and once again for this one and uh, there are other buildings we could uh, copy and paste uh, buildings around uh, it's just as I said to uh, show you uh, how it works very briefly and then moving on uh, towards uh, the west of the airport uh, this section uh, we've uh, looked at already the taxiway has been uh, edited uh, to fit the uh, real world uh, taxiway earlier on I mentioned we can uh, edit the uh, runway property so we'll highlight the runway and uh, click on uh, edit object you can see uh, we've got the runways there, the patterns, uh, markings, the lights. Uh, we can uh, on this one uh, play with the uh, uh, puppy uh, indications, and uh, that's uh, for the uh, secondary runway as well. So we can uh, cancel that, and um, there's no ILS on uh, runway uh, one two, so we can add an ILS. So we can choose the runway. Uh, we can choose uh, the uh, ident, uh, the name, and um, we can also uh, choose the frequency and the uh, range and click uh, add once we are happy. And uh, here we are, we've got the uh, localizer beam in green uh, shown uh, on uh, the screen. I remind you that uh, the localizer is uh, located at the opposite end of the runway itself. So that's uh, that's it there. Um, we saw it was showing runway one three, so we can edit that because now it's runway one two in real. So we we'll go back to object edit and we'll edit the runway number runway one two, and uh, you can see the secondary uh, runway is updated automatically. Click OK, and now we can see we've got runway three zero here, which uh, was runway three one before we did the edit. Moving on now uh, back to the north of uh, the airport. We'll try to uh, find where the glide slope for the ILS runway 12 is. So here it is, it's that uh, green triangle. At the moment it's uh, sitting on the taxiway, so we want to uh, move it a little bit uh, closer. And uh, here we are, try to line it with the uh, touchdown uh, markings. And um, then uh, looking up towards uh, the uh, taxiways there, they're all uh, looking good. They maybe just need to be slightly moved. So once again, we'll drag the dots and uh, align the taxiway with uh, its uh, real location. And there's a little bit of a bend there, so we'll try to uh, uh, make it uh, all straight. But you get the drift, you can play around with the location. Zoom in, we've got a bit of a discontinuity there. Here we are. And uh, yeah, it's not looking exactly straight, but uh, you get the drift, you can play around. We've got uh, taxi uh, signs as well, which you can uh, edit. So if we uh, click on that, edit object, and you can see you can uh, uh, create uh, your taxiway signs. Uh, with the different types of uh, signs and with the arrows and all the good stuff. So this is actually very good. Uh, you can play around. You see whiskey and uh, then uh, uh, Lima on uh, the left and the right hand side with the arrows. So that's all nice. We can play around with this. That's the location of uh, Windsock. Uh, there's a little apron uh, missing here. We won't bother creating it. These uh, green dots are uh, gates. So we can uh, create gates as well. Uh, there's a little apron here, so we're going to create a new apron. And uh, I'll show you uh, how we can uh, add up uh, a few uh, gates. So we uh, click on the green uh, circle there, uh, gate small, for example, and uh, center uh, the cross in the middle. And uh, that's your uh, gate uh, located on the apron there. And once again, uh, we can uh, edit uh, the gate so uh, we can uh, orientate it and uh, 
uh, locate it in the position uh, you want. And uh, if we click Edit Object, then uh, we can uh, play around with the radius. And uh, we can uh, obviously uh, give uh, the gate a name, a number, and uh, all these uh, good things. So it's uh, fairly uh, extensive and you can do a lot of things. And uh, then uh, from there you can uh, also, uh, if you want, I'll just reorientate the uh, gate there. And from there we'll add an apron link and to link the gate to the taxiway system. So here we are, and we now have a line leading to the gate. So that's all good. So overall, uh, as you can see, uh, there's quite a lot of things to do, and I've only explored a few. So uh, if you are a little bit uh, uh, curious, then you can uh, read the manual, explore all the options, and uh, have fun, basically. Uh, we just have a look through the different options here, and we can add uh, taxi links and apron links. Uh, runway links, uh, closed links, uh, vehicle links. Um, we can add gates, fences, all the polygons, and uh, there's a measuring tool as well, so you can measure the distance uh, on the uh, airport. Um, a lot of things. So this is not really a, a detailed guide to an airport design editor. This is just uh, a little uh, taster that if you're curious and you want to uh, find out more, uh, then you can uh, have a look and uh, find out for yourself. Uh, there's also a help section here. Um, and as I said, there's quite a big manual to read. Uh, so uh, it's all uh, very uh, interesting, actually. And you can play around uh, and uh, create even airports which don't exist. So that's it uh, for now. I invite you to uh, download the software and uh, have uh, a go at it. And uh, maybe you'll be the next uh, scenery uh, developer for the uh, Flight Simulator community. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, take care and I will uh, see you soon.